Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I'm going to talk about one particular assembly instruction. It is called set G instruction. You will see set G instruction when you compile, for example, the, the function max that I am showing you here on the left-hand side. The max function takes two numbers, X and Y. It returns one if X is greater than Y, otherwise it returns zero. We compile this function and look at the assembly code. We will see that set G instruction is used. So I'm going to dive into the set G and analyze it for you. As I have mentioned earlier, the set G instruction is used, okay? Of course, the other instructions, comp and the mu ZBL. So I will explain set G and the mu ZBL using the max example, okay? So um, since the C program is taking two arguments, X and Y, the arguments are actually handled um, by the A plus EBB and then 12 plus EBB denotes the second argument and then we are comparing. Uh, however, I will not uh, directly run this portion of the code. So what I'm going to do is I write a little assembly code on myself uh, um, and that compile uh, the assembly code and show to you the effect of setg. Okay, let's do that way. So what, what I have written is a small program called setg.s, right? You can see here, I put four to EAX, five to EBX, and then I'm comparing EBX with the EAX. And then um, I'm using setg, percentage EAL. Okay, so let's uh, walk through this program first. Here EAX is four, right? So this is easy. EBX is five. Okay, so we are comparing now, four is compared with five. Of course, four is smaller than five. That means set G will fail because set G will set the, when I say set G will fail, it will not set value one. It will set zero into the AL register content. Okay, so AL will be zero in this case. And the Muzi uh, BL means a, keep on extending zero 32 times to fill up the entire EAX register. So at this point, EAX will also be zero. Okay, so let's check that and let's, let's uh, put a breakpoint and, and confirm all of the arguments that I just made. Okay, so clear all drawings and then set g.o, set g.s, and then I will link to produce an executable called set g. Okay, and then I will be loading this inside gdb to study the main function in particular. And there is no main function, so it's called underscore start. And this is the same code I wrote on myself. Okay. Now, I want to put a breakpoint at this instruction, show to you the state of AL before uh, the AL gets changed, and then we can discuss. So here's the breakpoint location, and I'm pasting, and I'm going to run it. Before we run that instruction, I will show you what is the current content of the AL register, right? The AL register has the value four, which makes sense because four itself takes a byte. When you're representing number four, you, do, you need a byte, okay? So the lower part of the EAX register has value four. But as I mentioned earlier, four is smaller than five. So set G should set AL to be zero. Let's, let's confirm that, okay? And now you see here, AL is zero. Okay, so that's basically it. And let's move on to the next case where I will change the value of EAX to be higher than EBX. Let's say I put six here and five here. Now set G should set one because uh, six is greater than five. Let's confirm that. Okay, so I put a breakpoint at this place and I run it and I will show you the content of the AL must be now six because I put six to EAX. Okay, it is six. Now let's see whether set G will set the AL to one because six is greater than five. Okay, now the mu ZBL will basically take the one and put um, zeros in the front so that the EAX will have just value one. Let me show you what that means. If you see EAX, EAX has value one at this point. Okay. Originally our EAX itself is, is only one byte. Therefore, we don't really see the effect of mu ZBL in this case. Uh, but if uh, EAX had a large value, the, the first three bytes of EAX would have been um, zeroed out, okay? We can also actually try that. Let me show you another case where EAX is not six, but a large number, say, uh, I'll make some number 32,500 or something like that, just some arbitrary number. I know, let's take three bytes, something more than three bytes, say 80,000, okay? This, this means that 80,000 requires three bytes. So we should be able to see the effect of MUZVL now. I'll put a breakpoint at the place where the AL register will be set. And then I will be studying this, right? And then I will be showing you the values. EAX has this large value that I placed. Um, in terms of uh, hex, it's shown here. 
but you see EAX value is this, okay, 80,000. Now we will do set I, right, which means we are going to activate the set G's instruction. Steps, SI means step instruction. And now if I print the EAL or EAX again, you will see some other value more precisely. If I print AL, you should see one, okay. And now let's consider the MUZBL instruction and study the effect of that. Okay, now if I put print EAX, it must have one as well because of the MUZBL, which essentially zeroed out the all the bytes other than the least significant byte. Okay, that's basically it. Thank you very much.